time for another boring lens review video that none of you are going to watch. To those of you that are staying here and helping me get my watch hours up, these are from VCEE Beauty. As with a lot of contact lens companies, it came with a case and a little applicator and tweezers, which was really handy. The one thing I really did like is this contact lens case had little windows in it so you can see what colours your lenses are without having to write on the box or open them up. Moving on to the actual contact lenses, I just want to take a moment to show you how adorable this packaging is. It is just the cutest contact lens packaging I have ever had. I decided to ask for the yellow because I don't really have any yellow contact lenses yet, which means I can do characters like Denki and Toga from My Hero Academia again, which would be great. Hit that like button if you like My Hero Academia. The first thing I always do with my contact lenses is I leave them soak for at least 24 hours, so we're going to open the little packet here. Um, sometimes when you're opening contact lens packages, it does rip off, and I recommend using a cotton bud or something like that to pull the last of the metal bit off so you don't cut yourself, as it can be very sharp. Another good technique that I really like to use is I will get a cotton bud and I will just dip it in and it will scoop up the lens really easy without adding anything to it and it will help you transfer your lens from the fluid it travelled in to the contact lens fluid that's going to go in your eye. Then literally all you need to do is place it in your lens fluid and look at that, smooth transfer. Something to get in a good habit of doing is writing the month and year on your contact lenses and also the colour they are just so that you know when they need to be replaced. Comment for since the UK is currently in lockdown, the hairdressers and salons are all shot, so my hair is stupid long, but we're just going to stick some makeup on so I look presentable for you guys, and voila! Since I use an applicator for my contact lenses, it's easy for me to do my makeup first, but I will always save my mascara until last, because that can get on the lenses. But let's do this! If you are squeamish, look away now, because I will be showing you how I put this in my eye with an applicator. Scoop your upper eyelashes out of the way and then hold the bottom one down with another finger, look away from the lens and touch the white of your eye with the applicator. And done. You just need to push it into place. Something I was pleasantly surprised about with these lenses is usually when I put a contact lens in, my eyes will water for a little bit first. All this one did was it I teared up a little bit, but a single teardrop didn't even form, so it just made my eyes look a little bit wet, but it didn't ruin my makeup at all, which was great. Blue and grey eyes can be quite dodgy with colours like green and yellow in their lenses, but these ones actually showed up quite vibrantly. I'll show you them in going in closer so you can get a better look at it from a different angle. The end of the applicator is silicon so you barely even feel it when you touch the white of your eye. One thing I do want to talk about with this company that I've never had with previous companies like TTDI is the tweezers that came with it. Now the tweezers with previous companies have always had these little silicon bits on the end to protect the lenses and they always fall off and it's a really big pain. But the ones that came with VCEE are like all silicon so it's great they just don't fall off. But I am of course a cosplayer which means that these lenses and makeup will not be complete without a wig. Ta-da! The one thing that contact lenses always catch me out on is they will be fine inside and then as soon as I go outside they start to sting my eyes because of the sunlight so we're just going to test that on my essential run to the shop for bread and milk. Stay safe at home people, Covid-19, it's 2020. The sunlight did bother me a little bit but I don't know whether it was the lenses or the fact that I've not been outside in about 5 days but after a couple minutes they were absolutely fine and the same as inside. They also move back into place very, very easily, and I barely feel them, and the comfort is just really, really good for lenses. I'm really actually looking forward to buying some lenses from this company, not just saying that because they gave me free lenses. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not, like, and leave a comment. Love you all, bye!